<laughs> so we do have problems with the generator. Oh, you just parked off the side of the road here. It's pretty cold here by uh, the Sugarloaf Campground, that area. We're gonna hike up here and see if we can find these caves. I went to them once a couple years ago. I don't remember exactly where they're at, but they're kind of off the lake on the side of the hill. But I went in the fall, so the lake was low and now it's high. So we're gonna have to kind of hike up from the back side of the hill and try to get to them that way. I hope where it's the right hill here we're looking at. <laughs> We'll see. I have a feeling that it's going to be flooded and we're not going to be able to access. A little bit of an incline hiking up here. Starting to warm us up. I don't feel warm yet. <laughs> I just feel tired. Hopefully the caves are right around this corner here if I remember right. We found this piece of an eggshell and it's really big. Sam thinks it's part of a goose egg. I would say that. Maybe a wild ostrich. I don't know. <laughs> oh shit, this is steep. You can see kind of the two holes right down there. The main one's right over here. It's gonna be a challenge getting down there to them. Well, ultimately there's no safe way to really get down there right now with the water level the way it is and not being able to go along the shore. Uh, this cliff face is really kind of sandy and breaking apart. And on top of that, the cave looks like it's half filled full of water. So we'll have to come back in the fall time when the lake level is a little lower. Caden's making me lunch. <laughs> Somebody has to. Well, we're headed back to Trail Creek Hot Springs here. We've been meaning to refill our drinking water in our little blue jug. They just so happen to have a nice little spring here. This is going to take a little while to fill, so we'll get back to you. Driving along, staying warm. We're going to camp at the Salmon Creek Dispersed Camping Area, which is about 20 minutes past the uh, hot spring. So Completely go. missed my turn on the way down here. Ended up going to the campground first, but gave us a spot to check it out in case it's getting dark by the time we get out there. Well, about to change and then head on down to the spring. Walking down to the hot spring now, it's kind of steep getting down here and pretty colder. It's only like a, maybe like a 0.2 mile hike down to the spring itself. It's not very far. We just crossed over the little wooden bridge. There's some people in the lower pool, but likely the upper pool is all ours. He's doing the cold plunge. <laughs> he doesn't feed me all day, okay? I got excited. <laughs> but she made some really good mashed potatoes and beef and corn, so it felt really good to get some vegetables. Whoa. <laughs> oh, is this like a water fountain? Sam just built us this really nice fire. We're gonna hopefully warm up a little bit here. The sun just set beneath the hill and starting to cool off. What do you think, Sam? I'm ready for s'mores. Some marshmallows, generic graham crackers. Not painful. They're not us. generic, they're Craven, okay. Craven, and then Reese's peanut butter bar because using Hershey's is basic. You want to use Reese's. It's a thousand times better. Try it. You see that? So it gets nice and melted. And you just wait a few seconds while you roast your marshmallow. Slow roast it, okay. When your marshmallow is done, you take this off and it's like, has a little char on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, and the chocolate's melted. And then you just, look at that, the char, so good. Last night was probably the coldest night yet. <laughs> Every time we woke up, we're like, holy crap, we're freezing to death, but we finally kind of got warm. We're gonna 
head back towards Buell now. It's been a good trip so far, mm -hmm. but generator light came on on the way out here. So hopefully we can take a look at that and hopefully it just needed to be reset or something like that. Yeah. So <laughs> wish us luck. <laughs> so we do have problems with the generator. It looks like the generator is not making any power at all. I uh, had Sam rev it up and hook the voltmeter to it and I'm only getting like one volt from it. So it's probably the generator and maybe the regulator. I'm doing a little YouTube research, but I'm going to try kind of flipping the brushes around and taking a look at that. Pull out one of the brushes here and looks a little worn, but still a lot of the brush left. So I'm going to try to maybe clean them up here and we'll flip them around and, and hopefully get something to work here. We just put the brushes back in. I cleaned them up and flipped them 180 degrees from each other. Sam's going to go get some test leads to see if we can do a little test on the generator here, but they're kind of a pain to get to. One's right up in the top there. I'm just making a little set of test leads here. Sam bought these clips and I got some wire. So I'm just going to put one of these on each end and then uh, there's a way to hook up the generator, kind of like a motor to test if it's working. Looks like it's spinning up from the battery power. Putting the fan belt back on here and the generator belt, it's, a, it's the same belt. But to tighten this, these two pulleys are split. So the tighter they are, the higher the belt rides on the groove, essentially taking up the slack. You move shims from the outside to between the two to tighten the belt. Less shims means a tighter belt. And then you have your little cup here and the shims go on here. So I'm gonna have to work a little bit to get this guy on here. And just holding it right off the bat and cinching it down, I kind of like to rotate this through a couple times and it kind of slips and tightens a little, slips and tightens a little bit. And that just helps that belt seat evenly on the pulley so it doesn't get pinched. The generator light up on the dash turned off now, so that's a good sign. Looks like it's working all right, but I'm gonna go ahead and just measure the power coming off the generator and see what we get here. 